everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and this week I wanted to share with you just a quick little video of how I inserted eyelets into the waistband of these little trousers that I made for baby Solly. I've been making quite a lot of different clothes for him recently. We started stocking the poppy and jazz sewing patterns and we've had lots of really lovely novelty and kids jerseys in so I decided to make a little range of clothes for him. So yeah, this is the trousers here and I also put in one of the Kylie and the Machine labels at the back and they're just a really cute little pair of trousers, got some little elastic cuffs at the bottom. So I'm going to start showing it to you from the stage where I have attached the waistband. I used some of our ribbing fabric for this. So I attached it at the bottom, I used an overlocker to finish the edge and I just pressed it in half so that the raw edge would sort of overlap where it attaches to the trousers and then you can work out where the placement of those eyelets are going to be and you have to reinforce the fabric so I used some medium weight non-woven iron-on interfacing so just at the center front you just want to make sure that you're going to be attaching them sort of maybe like an inch or so out from where the center line is so I just ironed a little square of interfacing on there that's going to make sure that the fabric just doesn't sort of stretch and the whole round the eyelet gets kind of bigger as, as you use the garment the other thing I did was cut small little squares of that's quite a dense cotton calico and I just punched a hole in them as well so they're going to be on the inside of the waistband you won't see them when the garment's finished Finished. and what they do really is just give the eyelet more of something to hold on to more purchase so then you need to decide where the eyelets are going to be actually make your little marking so you can just kind of place them on get an idea of what you think looks right and then just mark it with a little bit of chalk you obviously want to make sure that they're far enough apart that you can tie a little knot when the when the cord comes out I used these punch pliers just to make a little hole but there are lots of other ways to use the hole you can check out my other video for all the different ways that you can make holes in that so just punch the hole in there and using the prim vario pliers you just want to insert the little tool set that comes with the eyelets so when you buy the eyelets it comes with those little bits that you can insert into the vario pliers then get your little square of fabric and then the hole should always be the smallest that it needs to be so that you're kind of stretching the fabric around it that'll what that'll be what gives the whole thing much better grip you don't want that hole to be too big so then you can see you know the hole I made in that little square of calico was quite small but you can just stretch it round and it's a nice close tight fit put the little washer on the back and then I found it doesn't really sort of sit over it it just kind of sits on top and sort of um, moves around quite easily it didn't sort of fall down the cylinder of the the other side of the eyelet then just line it up with your pliers and before you totally get it engaged sometimes my little tool set falls out the top but you can just pop it back in again as you're about to to close the pliers just close them gently so it engages then use both hands one at the bottom one at the top really nice tight squeeze and then you'll feel the metal sort of give and that'll be your eyelet attached so then obviously just repeat that on the other side and your eyelet will be be nice and secure there then you want to get your cord fold it in half so you've got the center point and then what I did was I just fixed it I just sewed it to the center back of the inside of the waistband and then the cord is just going to get sort of hidden in the channel when you sew that that top bit of the ribbing down so just thread the cord through the eyelet at the front and then you can tie a little knot on the end as well if you want just to, to stop it sort of accidentally coming back out of that hole again and then fold the the ribbing over the top and then just pin it in place so you just have to make sure that 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 cord is sort of tucked nicely into the channel there and then you're just going to be pinning all the way around the waistband and then once you've done that then you're going to be ready to sew all the way around so you're just going to sew the sort of bottom kind of it, that overlocked edge there make sure you leave a gap at the back to feed the elastic through and then just feed your elastic all the way through your channel and then just obviously make sure that you attach it once you've once you've put it all the way through and then the elastic you'll find that the elastic then will just sort of sit flush um, underneath there and then you just have to sort of stitch down that little edge closed and then then you're all done it is all finished so I hope you found that useful just to sort of see putting eyelets in context it was the 12 to 18 month size that I made for Solly and he has just turned one so there's quite a bit of growing space in these ones but I think they look really cute and I'm sure we'll get lots of wear out of them. 
Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you found that useful. I'll put a link to the blog post that goes with this little video where you can see links to the eyelets and the pliers and the patterns and the fabrics that I used. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll see you soon. Thanks guys, bye.